Hello and welcome to an episode of Advanced GIS. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at GIS workflows and how to use Python programming and model builder to create reproducible workflows in ArcGIS Pro. Now that I have flow direction, a poor point, I can delineate the watershed. I'm going to zoom back out. We have an idea that this should be grabbing these features in terms of where our water look shed looks like. In order to find a watershed, there is a watershed function. Geoprocessing tools, watershed. The watershed tool takes flow direction and a pore point and delineates a watershed. So it asks you for a flow direction, a pore point, and an output raster. Let's see how we do this in Python. I'm going to create an output file for my watershed. So my watershed name will be Napa WS. So I'll be saving the output into the Napa WS in my project folder. And ArcPy Spatial Analyst Tools has the watershed function, asks you for a flow direction raster set, Napa FDR, comma, asks you for a pore point. I like my Napa pore 50 then asks you what is the field in the pore point. I want it to be value, not count. And run the tool. I'm going to change the symbology on my watershed. Instead of stretching values, what I'm going to do is just assign discrete values. There is only one value as the watershed has just one value. And there we see the watershed delineated as a raster data set. We could go and create figures where we clip the raster data sets from the flow accumulation, flow direction, and fill so that they are within just the extents of our watershed. A trick for clipping raster data sets to raster data sets is that we know that this raster data set has values of one everywhere and values of zero everywhere else. So because they have values of one everywhere and values of zero everywhere else, I can use that as a clip feature. First, I'm going to set my workspace, ArcPy ENV workspace. We see that it is currently set to my model builder GDB. I'm now going to define my watershed Napa flow accumulation, and I can use ArcPy Spatial Analyst Tools Raster. And Raster allows me to create a raster object. So I'm going to take my Napa watershed and I can do raster multiplication since rasters are just numbers and multiply that by the raster flow accumulation. And the output should be only flow accumulation values that fall within the Napa watershed. Let's give that a try.
I'm going to uncheck my world boundaries, my DEM, my fill, flow direction, FAC. And we see a nice clipped version of my Napa FAC. I can save. If I only give it a file name, it should save in my geoprocessing catalog. And there we see it in my geo database. Next up is the Flow direction, ArcPy Spatial Analyst Raster. Again, I can use my watershed as my input and multiply it by my flow direction. And I should get flow direction clipped just to my watershed raster data set. And I'll save this as my watershed Napa FDR. And my fill will be ArcPy Spatial Analyst Tools Raster. Again, I'll use my watershed and multiply that by my ArcPy Spatial Analyst Raster. And this time it will be my Napa fill. And I should get a nice clip of my fill. And I will save as watershed Napa fill. And now I have nice clipped versions of my flow accumulation, flow direction, and fill, including my watershed and my outlet geo, all in my file geo database.